Beauty Babes, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Well, today I am back with a two looks one palette to share with you guys and this is actually a collab with my friend Michelle Marino of Sparkle Me Pink here on YouTube. I'm so happy to be able to say that. Um, Michelle and I collaborated recently on a fashion video, a holiday dress try on haul. If you haven't seen that I will link it in the cards but we've been talking a lot since that collab and we decided that it'd be really fun to do another collab, this time uh, a makeup collab and I'm really really excited about this because I've actually been wanting to pull this palette out and create some more looks with it anyways, as well as some of the other um, palettes in this collection. So anyways, this collab actually is um, where we are both going to create two looks. So you will see two looks from me using this palette and two looks from Michelle, which I think is such a great idea. So you're going to really see four looks in total. I've really been into the idea of three looks or two looks with one palette to kind of show you a little bit more variety um, give you a little bit more inspiration on how to use a palette. So you're not just seeing one tutorial and then that's it. It's kind of being left in, um, you know, in the dust, kind of forgotten. Um, it gives you a little bit more inspiration as well. I just love the idea of seeing different techniques, different um, looks, you know, everybody looks at a palette differently and gets inspired differently um, and sometimes we can look at a palette and be like I have no idea what to do with this and so I just love the idea of, of being able to do this collab with her so you're gonna see four different looks um, to hopefully really inspire you guys and so I will have her uh, video link as well as her uh, YouTube channel link in the description box I definitely encourage you guys to go check out her video as well and see the looks that she has created all right uh, it, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't have a famously long Long intro would it so uh, I want to stop rambling I want to go ahead and get into my first tutorial but before I do that I just want to say really quickly as you guys can see I do already have my brows done um, and I do have just a little bit of concealer on around my eyes because when I do my brows like this um, I do use a kind of cream pencil concealer and I just bring that down lightly onto my lid to just kind of even out my skin tone because I do have pretty dark circles um, I didn't do it as heavy as I normally do when I do my brows like this because if I remember correctly when I use used um, that concealer it's like a creamy thicker concealer these these shadows didn't really work well um, with that concealer it needs something a little bit lighter so that's why I kept it pretty light-handedly um, on my lids but there is enough to kind of somewhat cancel out that darkness but I am going to go in first using um, the Urban Decay primer potion this is their anti-aging primer so I'm going to do that first <laughs> Oh, and as I'm doing this, I just want to mention that um, I don't have the rest of my face on, and if you are creating looks with these palettes, I would recommend doing your eyes first as well, just like me, because there is a lot of kick up and a lot of fallout, and these are darker shadows, so you definitely want to do your eyes first, otherwise you're going to be dealing with some major uh, cleanup, and that's a little bit harder to do if you've already got your foundation and base already done. So just do your eyes first, do your foundation um, last. Next, this step is optional, but I am going to go ahead and just set my entire eyelid from lash line to brow bone with the shade Poof, and I'm just going to be using a very, very fluffy brush. This is the Large Fluff from Stelazi. Next up, I'm going to be going into the shade Shh <laughs> with a very large, soft blending brush. I'm going to be using the uh, Stelazi Crease Blender for this, and what I'm going to do is just take that shade into my crease, It's kind of using it as my transition shade. I'll most likely diffuse this a little bit higher up, but you can just uh, blend it to wherever you feel most comfortable. And as you can see, I am just blending in small circular motions as well as windshield wiper motions, just kind of going back and forth, moving that product and blending it all around. All right, next up we're going to deepen up this look just a little bit. I'm going to be going into the shade Mojo and I'm going to be taking that on a, another blending brush that's a little bit more flat and tapered. I mean it's not flat, it's a kind of, it's still a fluffy blending brush but it has a little bit more of a taper to it so it'll be a little bit more precise. The brush I'm specifically using is the Beauty Junkies Pro Blending. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and just take that shadow um, onto the inner and outer corners of my eyes and a little bit into my crease as well. It's going to go ahead and look like we're doing the start of a halo eye look. That's not really what I'm going for today, but I do want some of that um, darker deepness on the inner and outer corners of my eyes for this look. 
As you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and just pat that color down, just kind of pat and place it into place on the inner and outer corners of my eyes. And then I'm gonna go back and just kind of sweep and blend slightly into the crease, just to make sure that it's diffused up, blended out, and there's no harsh lines. All right, so here's what it should be looking like so far. It looks a little bit messy, a little bit crazy, but trust me, trust the process. It will look a lot better <laughs> in the end. Um, so anyways, now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the shade Diversion. And um, I'm going to be applying that with this Shadow Fluff brush from Stelazi. I'm going to be taking that shade um, pretty much over the majority of my lid. Um, I do want a little bit of that deepness of the shade Mojo to show through, but for the most part, this shade Diversion will go all over my entire lid. Okay, now with that on, I'm just really quickly gonna go back into that brush that I used with Mojo. No additional product, just to kind of blend a little bit on the outer edges, just to make sure that there are no harsh lines. Everything looks seamless and blended. Actually, I do want to take just a touch more of Mojo, just like the tiniest little bit, just uh, to add a little bit of more depth, just like that. Sometimes just playing around with with your makeup, just kind of seeing what what what's gonna work. What do you want to do? I feel like that's totally a boss. Boss, <laughs> I feel like that's totally a Bob Ross tip for you. Create little happy trees. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I like the way that's looking, which is a little, it's like subtle, but it's, you know, it makes, it makes a difference. Okay, love that. Good. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to be going into that kind of pukey green shade potion, and I'm going to be taking that with a kind of fluffy pencil brush, like a blending pencil brush. This one is from Morphe. It's their M507, and I'm going to be running that on my lower lash line. All right, now I'm going to be going into the shade Trickery, and this shade is actually very appropriately named because it is very tricky, in my opinion, to work with. If I showed you up close my palette, you can see there's like a lot, like a, kind of like a bunch of little dip ins and like I've had to really kind of dig at this palette to to get the product to work for me and kind of dig it up to use it. Um, anyways, it is a little bit tricky in my opinion to work with, but it is a beautiful shade. Um, anyways, I found the best way to use and apply this shadow is with a synthetic brush. So I'm actually going to be taking a very tiny um, synthetic brush. This one is from Real Techniques. It's their detailer brush. I believe it comes in their like complexion four piece brush set. Um, anyways, I'm going to be taking that and running that over top the shade potion that I put on my lower lash, lash line. <laughs> All right, so this is basically the look right here. Um, you can leave it like this. I really like the way this looks. There's just something to me that's so pretty about a little bit more of a neutral look on top and then a pop of, of color on the bottom or a jewel tone color on the bottom that just looks so pretty. And um, I don't know, just is surprisingly beautiful to me um, and this green color really is so beautiful even though it's kind of a pain in the butt to work with. Um, but like I said, this can be the, the finished look, put on the rest of your face, face, throw on some mascara or false lashes or whatever you want to do, and I think this looks really, really beautiful. Um, but if you are new here, uh, hi, hello, I'm Maria, and I am a glitter addict. <laughs> um, I want to amp this look up just a little bit and this step is completely optional but I just love glitter and I want to add a little bit of some glitter and um, I actually did this same look uh, a couple nights ago um, when, I, when I went out on a date night with my husband for our anniversary celebrating 14 years um, I did this except for I added uh, some glitter and the glitter I actually used is the one of the Stila um, cosmetics uh, glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows if you buy the trio I feel like it's it's much more affordable because it's like three of the mini shades for $25 whereas if you buy a full size it's like what is it $30 34 28 I don't know but basically I feel like this is a better deal so if you want to um, use the steel glitters or if you already have them you can do it with that that's what I did but I did want to keep this uh, more affordable because 
I feel like, you know, Morphe in this palette is a, is a very affordable brand, and so I wanted to kind of keep the look a little bit more affordable. So I wanted to pull out these and show you guys. I feel like this is totally, these are totally dupes for um, the Stila Glitter and Glows. These are from Pixie Beauty, and they are their uh, Glimmery Shadows. And so I have more shades, but these are the ones that look the most similar to this set that I have. They're really, really pretty. I've used them before. They work really well. Very good quality. Um, but I think the one I'm going to use today, because I think it'll go with this look a little bit better, is this more brown one. This is the shade Bare Brilliance, and for anybody curious, this is the shade Passion Light. Um, and I know I'm kind of tangent tangenting, going off on a tangent here, but here's the other ones, and you can kind of just see, like, um, this one is very, very similar to this color here um, from Stila and this is the shade Smoldering Satin. They're pretty much like very very similar and then I have these two. Um, this one's a lot more of a coppery dark richer shade than these two but still it's in that kind of orangey warmer family. Really quickly just to show you this is the Stila glitter this is the Pixie Beauty glitter. So the color isn't exact, but they both are a beautiful brown with like a silvery glitter to it. The Stila one definitely looks like a lot more sparkly, like silvery um, sparkle to it. This one is a little bit less, but essentially it's like the same effect. And I mean, to me, they're totally dupe-like. The other ones that I have, uh, up here to the um, right, I have Kitten Karma from Stila, and then up here to the left is the Rose Gold Retro Shade, and then down here is the Pixie one, that is the shade Passion Light. Clearly, they're pretty different, um, but I just want to show you guys what I had and how, I mean, the, the glitter effect essentially is what, we're, what I'm kind of duping here. And like I said, there are other shades of the Pixie ones, so you kind of... Um, there's lighter ones. These are the more opaque ones, but um, they're very, very similar in the effect that they give. Okay, to say just grab this one, um, it's the rose gold shade from Pixie, and swatch it next to see if it was more of a color match. Um, and that's this right here. And oh my goodness, yeah, definitely a lot closer of a color match. This one is a little bit more sheer, not as opaque as this one or even these two, but it's pretty darn close and probably on your eyes you wouldn't be able to tell the difference so again like I said just um just a thought if you really were looking into maybe the Stila glitters and didn't want to spend the money check out the ones from Pixie. All right that was quite a tangent I apologize for kind of going off and making this video longer but all that to just to say I do want to pull in a glitter to use on my lid um, and I don't think I'm going to take it all over my lid I just want to pop right on the center just to add a little more oomph a little more something something. Like I said, again, I'm going to be using the shade Bare Brilliance, and these do come with a doe foot applicator. I am going to apply that right onto my lid, but then I'm going to go ahead and use a brush to kind of help blend and move it around a little bit. The brush I'm going to be using is the Pro Detailer Brush from Beauty Junkies. And the brush is optional, but I just like to do that just because I feel like it helps disperse um, the product a little bit more, uh, make it a little less... Um, of a uh, harsh lines like make sure there's no harsh lines or anything when I apply it and just kind of disperses a little bit better if that makes sense. Alright, and as you can see, it's just a subtle thing, it adds a little bit more brightness to the center of the lid, um, and just that touch of glitter just, I don't know, to me just is so, so pretty. I really, really love the way this looks. Um, again, completely optional, but just something I like to do and something that I like the look of. All right, and then one more optional thing I'm going to do is go ahead and apply a green uh, eyeliner to my waterline that I think is going to match really well with the lower lash line. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Overdrive. Um, again, this is optional. You can use black eyeliner or no eyeliner. I just think this will be a really pretty comp complement uh, to the lower lash line. All right, and that is it. I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my face, and I'll be right back to show you guys the completed look. All right, so here is what the completed look looks like. Um, for anybody curious, I use the Ico London Black Magic Mascara, one of my very favorite mascaras. And then for lips, I just put on this Vitality Gloss Stain from It Cosmetics in the shade Je Ne Sais Quoi, which just adheres to your pH and your temperature to create your perfect 
pink, so they say. Um, I really love the way this look turned out. Um, also, just to note, I did pop on some of my highlighter, my face highlighter, highlighter uh, to the inner corner of my eyes as well as a little bit on my brow bone too. So if you notice a little bit of brightness there, that's what's going on there. But anyways, I really, really love the way this look turned out. It's a very simple look with a few touches of glam here and there, but I think it's a pretty everyday wearable look um, that I really hope you guys like and enjoy. Definitely let me know what you think of this look, if you would rock it and all that good stuff but with all that being said let's go ahead and move on to look number two okay beauties we are rolling into the second tutorial for the morphe and jacqueline hill dark magic palette as you can see i do have a lot of powder on my face right now because i do already have uh, the rest of my face done i would not actually recommend this i would recommend doing your eyes first um because you will this palette just gives a lot of fallout and these colors are dark so um, that can make a mess um, but I'm kind of in a hurry so I want to just have my base done and just do my eyes really quick um, and, and, and kind of film and go so that's why I look like this um, hopefully this powder will help prevent uh, the messing up of the rest of my face um, but like I said I definitely recommend doing your face last if you can <laughs> Now, as you can see, I do have a little bit of concealer on my eyes right now. Um, this part isn't like extremely necessary, but I'm just gonna do it anyways, just to kind of set um, my eyelids. I'm gonna go into the shade Poof with it, just a kind of big fluffy brush, um, just to plat that all over my lid from uh, lash line to brow bone. Next, we're not messing around. We're going straight in, in with some color. I'm gonna be going into the shade Busted, which is that matte blue shade, and I'm gonna be, uh, I'm going to be applying that with a kind of small tapered blending brush. This is the Smith 230, and I'm gonna be taking that into my crease. I'm gonna start on the outer corner of my eyes a little bit and work forward slowly, um, just to build that color up and blend it into my crease and transition area. As I get closer to my inner. Inner, the inner portion of my lid. I'm gonna try to um, keep the color lower close to my lid, not so high up. I personally just don't like the way um, shadow looks too blown out towards the inner corner. Um, so I'm trying to keep it lower on the lid and I might actually switch to a smaller brush to do this. Okay, so yes, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to this teeny tiny mini crease fluff brush from Stilazi. This is their L217 brush. Just to dip a little bit more into the shade Busted and use that to kind of help blend some shadow into the, the crease of my inner corner, as well as just the crease in general. <laughs> As you can see, I am also bringing this down onto my lid as well, mostly focusing and concentrating the color on the inner and outer portions of my lid because I am going to be doing a halo eye today. Now that I've got the amount of pigmentation that I want and kind of the desired shape that I was going for, as you can see, it's a little bit more of a rounded shape that kind of goes up a little bit higher towards the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna go ahead and take a fluffy blending brush with no product on it, just a clean one, just to further blend and diffuse that shadow out, just to soften it up around the edges. The brush I'm gonna be using is from Beauty Junkies. It is their Pro Tapered Blending. As you can see, this really softens up the line, helps diffuse that color out, and creates almost a gradient effect as it's blending into that uh, lighter shade poof that I laid all over my lid. Now I'm gonna be going into the shade Power Cut. Now this shade just really does not um, go on very well on its own. So I am gonna use some set setting spray to help enhance it. And what I'm gonna do is grab some of the shadow um, onto my brush first. The brush I'm using, by the way, is the Beauty Junkies Pro Detailer brush, which is a very nice synthetic brush. Um, anyways, I'm gonna grab some product on the brush first, and then I'm going to spray it with some setting spray. I always recommend doing this rather than um, spraying your brush first and then dipping into the shadows, because when you do it that way, you tend to hard pen your shadows. So I do always recommend spraying your, your brushes after you already have some shadow on them. Now I'm gonna be using the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray for this. I do find that this setting spray is one of the best to use um, for helping with shadows and foiling shadows and getting them to perform just because it does have glycerin in it and it just works beautifully to make shadows pop. 
And as you can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this shade to the center of my lid. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and deepen up this look just a little bit. I'm gonna be going into the shade Temptress, and I'm gonna be taking that in a very, very tiny little brush. This is the Sigma Smudge E21 brush, and I'm gonna be running that onto my lower lash line, and after that, I'm also going to be adding just a touch to the very inner and outer corners of my eyelids as well, just to create more of an ombre or gradient effect on my lid. All right, now that we've done that, I want to go ahead and do a little bit more blending with that blue shade Busted. I'm going to be taking that small uh, blending brush again, the Stelazi L217, and I'm going to be running that along my lower lash line just to blend and diffuse that shade Temptress out. And then I'll go ahead and blend um, over top on my upper lid as well, kind of blending into the shade Power Cut to um, narrow it out just a little bit. Here I just want to show you um, the difference that doing this makes. It's not a huge step, but it does definitely make a lovely difference in the look. Just kind of helps soften it up and it makes it look a little bit more seamless and beautiful. Okay, now I'm going back in with that uh, brush I used with the shade Poof all over my lid. And I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line just to kind of blend um, some of that powder I have down there in with the blue to make it look a little less intense and just kind of soften it up. <laughs> Alright, now that I'm looking sufficiently crazy, I'm going to go ahead and remove that um, excess powder that is down below. I'm going to be using my Beauty Junkies Duo Fiber Brush just to kind of gently sweep that off. Now this is pretty much the look done here. If you simply just want to use the palette and not add anything else, um, but I do want to go ahead and add a fun pop of highlight. I have these um, Eclipse highlighters from NBA Cosmetics. I've had these for a long time. They no long longer come in the stacking jar like this. They're sold individually. Um, but anyways, they're basically these like white powders that once you put them on, they each kind of reflect a different color. And they have a blue one um, in the shade Aurora. And I just thought it would complement this uh, look really well. So I want to pop that on my inner corner. Um, because I just think it'd be really, really pretty. And as I said, these are from, or I think I said, <laughs> these are from NBA Cosmetics. I do work with NBA Cosmetics and have an affiliate code with them. The code is Agape Love. It'll get you 10% off if you are interested in trying these. But also something similar would be if you have the Anastasia uh, like Moonchild or the Kat Von D Alchemist um, palette already. It's a kind of a similar thing, only these are uh, powder or a uh, loose powder form and also a lot more affordable. So if you don't have those other kits and you have been wanting to try uh, highlights that are fun like that, check out NBA Cosmetics. You can buy the set for a really great price where you get all the shades or you can buy them individually as well if you're only interested in one of the colors. So anyways, I just wanted to throw that out there, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply that with a pencil brush. I'm gonna be using my Beauty Junkies pencil brush and just pop that right into my inner corners for a really fun pop of blue highlight. Isn't that just so, so pretty? These little Eclipse highlighters are just so much fun. They work really great as like eyeshadow toppers too if you wanna kind of change up the effect or create your own kind of duochrome look. They're really beautiful for that. All right, and to finish off this look, I went ahead and applied some mascara, of course. I'm using the Ico London Black Magic Mascara, one of my very favorites. Um, I thought about putting on false lashes, but I know after I put on the mascara, I was like, this looks great. I love it. It looks good. So I'm working a bit at that. And then for lips, I just popped on one of my very, very favorite glosses. This is the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Hi -Fi Shine uh, Lip Gloss in the shade Back Talk. I love, love, the, love this shade. I love these glosses too. Um, but anyways, this is the completed look. Um, blue is definitely very, very much so out of my comfort zone when it comes to eye shadows and eye looks. Um, I, it's just, it's not a color I gravitate towards. It's not one that I f find to be super flattering on, on me personally, but I do like to step out of my comfort zone here and there. 
and that is a really beautiful shade in the palette and so I just really wanted to put it to to use and I actually really like the way this turned out I think it looks really really pretty um, not too over the top I know blue can be very scary for a lot of people we tend to get you know those Mimi from Drew Carey vibes um, but I find this look at least in my opinion to be uh, pretty wearable definitely probably not for like you know work appropriate or whatever um, I guess it depends on your job and where you work but um, um, I like I, I really like it I feel like it's pretty a very wearable beautiful blue look so anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed this look as well I'd love to hear your feedback and which look you liked the very best. I do hope you enjoyed um, both of these tutorials and maybe you learned something new or feel inspired to create um, more or different looks with this palette. Um, please don't forget to also head on over to Michelle's channel um, and say hello to her, see the look she's created. If you're coming here from Michelle's channel, um, please say hello, introduce yourself. Um, thank you so much for popping over and visiting me and my channel. I hope you like what you see and would be willing to stick around and subscribe if you like but yeah with all that being said I just want to thank you so so much for watching and until next time much love and hugs to you bye beauty babes Mwah!